Why is it doing that? Because the pressure is really low. So what, how do I get So it's it? okay, just keep pulling the trigger. Yep. Good, okay, good. So we know there's paint now, right? Right, but 100% no pressure. sure. Right, so now let's turn the pressure up. So let's go up till we get to sprayer. And go a little higher. That's probably pretty good. Okay. Sorry, everything I own. I don't look like Jesse yet, but I'm about to. About to. Right? Yep. Too close. There you go. Good. A little heavy. Paint always looks terrible. I've learned never judge paint when it's wet. Mm -hmm. Never. Like if you look at a wall, you're like, ah, it looks so Let bad. And then it dries and you're like, oh, that's not too bad. Actually, it looks really good. But yeah, when it's wet, it just has a different look. Plus it's really luster, like shiny, lustry. Mm -hmm. We won't make it too long between coats. Let's put a timer on it. Uh, okay. Let's call it- uh, 30 minutes. We did kind of heavy. Yeah, let's do 45. It's cold out there. Very short first skip. Like that. That'll work for coat number one. Okay, yeah, like in here it's all pooled. It's okay. But it'll get covered with trim, right? Yep. We'll see about that. <laughs> careful, products, careful. That's bold. That's you bold don't claim. know who's installing your exactly. floor. Exactly. <laughs> there was a conversation a couple months ago whenever we picked this flooring out. Whether or not to have flooring at all in the garage, right? Yep. We're kind of thinking of leaving it bare, but I think at the end of the day, we don't know how long we're gonna be using this bathroom for, so we thought, you know what? Let's finish it. Let's make it nice. Let's make it feel like a home inside. A, a homey a homey bathroom. A little bit, yeah. So this is a vinyl plank flooring, and it has an ad adhesive uh, connection mechanism. It's not pergo, it's not laminate, and it's not click together. Uh, it's I, actually a vinyl product. I think we use this on your rental. We used something similar to this. It was probably higher quality. It was a commercial grade. It's very forgiving. It's like vinyl in that it's waterproof, but it's unlike sheet vinyl in that you can repair it. You can actually replace a piece. I'm not saying it's easy, but sheet goods, you're married to it and a repair, it can be done, but it is not easy. So we chose to go with plank. Also, we can install it a little bit at a time and yeah. That's an inch and a half in? Yeah. It's just gonna be a bug. I actually remembered something. I think you can score this stuff. Oh, and like bend and it? And then bend it around. That does sound familiar. Let's try that, see if it works. Oh wow, ha. way better. Look at oh that. My gosh. That makes way more sense. I can tolerate that. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. It's been a while, Okay. It's been a couple days. So there's a mark at 10, and then come over here and make a mark at seven and a half. And then you should just be able to trace this, mm -hmm. right? And then come over here and trace from your mm -hmm. four that way. So apparently you're not supposed to bend it. I can't wrap my head around what exactly. Round two, don't screw it up, Alyssa, okay? Are we happy with that? Looks good. It's a little short. That'll work. So there's a piece right behind you that's already cut. Okay. And that will join to the piece you just put on. Okay. So what you want to do is slide it into the wall first and then very precisely mate the two together and don't put them together until you get it right. Right. Good? Yep, yep good right there. Yep, and then just put lots of pressure on that one right there. And not bad on the other side too. I think we'll definitely be able to get trim under there, so. All right, now it gets easy for like three rows and then it gets hard again. Cool. So every time drain. we get a to drain. a drain yep. or a fixture or something like that, which we only have, what, two of. We have a floor drain and a toilet. 
But I can tell you that if you think cutting a straight line in this stuff sucks, cutting a circle sucks was, even worse. I totally believe it. Yeah, you gotta kind of whittle your way out. Ooh, it's getting cold out here. I don't think paint's gonna even dry out here. Mmm. Oof, it's close. Wow. So Alyssa just made a boo-boo. I cut the ear off on the wrong side. Ripped it off. Now we're yeah. Uh, I'm fired. This is why you haven't true. had me around. We just had a conversation earlier today about how frustrating building a house is, and I think this is unfortunately good for you. <laughs> Come out here and experience all this with me. Yeah, so we're gonna have to replace that whole thing. Whole thing. thing. Yeah. Wow. And of course, I'm sure we bought just enough flooring that we need, and our luck, we're gonna go tomorrow to buy more. I think, and we, we, I think we bought 50 square feet, and we're we're chewing it up pretty fast. <laughs> wow. To the landfill! To Not the landfill. my day. I should just keep editing videos. <laughs> Our paint isn't drying because it's already 32 degrees outside. So Jesse suggested painting them in here, but from experience, we're just gonna be breathing toxic fumes for hours and that doesn't sound enjoyable or healthy. So we're gonna do a second coat outside and then we're gonna see if we could gingerly carry it inside together. And then when we're ready to paint the other side, carry it back outside. We're just gonna see how it works. I really hate painting in here because the only way to get the smell out is to open the garage doors and blow air like use our fans to blow the air out there which means we're gonna lose all of our heat in here and we're still gonna be working in all these fumes so let's see how this works it's definitely risky carrying it no painting at this temperature oh bringing it inside is definitely safer i'm worried that there's like condensation almost on uh. the door the good news is we could always take the door back off and repaint it like yeah. bring it outside and paint it it's not this is the critical part here Oh 
man, moment of truth. Does it fit? Does it fit? Does it fit? So good. I don't think she'll fit. Does that look good? Yep, looks good to me. Beautiful. Hey, I think you've done this before. There into my trust book. <laughs> Alyssa is realizing that flooring's easy, except for the corners and, and the, the doors and the drains. And every time you have to like cut, yeah. The good news is we're not putting in a sheet good, because if you had to do that right the first time, I don't even know how to do that. But if you screw it up, you gotta get a whole new sheet. Happy? Yep. So we're definitely tapering. See? Oh, yep. So it's getting narrower. So that's yep. not, that needs to be pushed down. There you go. So yeah, pull a measurement down there and then pull a measurement down here, right? And then right. cut your taper that way. I don't know who built these walls, but they're not square. our water main which we need to shut off to install fixtures there we go ready to go mm. that's clearly not all the water in the system well it is check check here right good enough there we go I can't alk them off there we go So these are quarter turn shutoffs and they have a half inch inlet and a three eighths inch outlet. And then this is where we hook the supply line. So we want these to be close-ish to the wall, but you don't want it up against the sheetrock. We want to probably put a decorative uh, flange back here to cover that hole. You've probably seen them, they're ugly as heck and they're usually chrome and they're usually rusted because they're usually really cheap metal and this sweats and so it gets all rusty. Anyway, so we need to cut this metal back and we need room for that to slip on. So we don't want to cut it too far back and we don't really want to cut it more than once. So we'd rather just cut it right the first time. So if we go something like that, leaving room for the nut. So basically this nut goes on first and then this, this compression ring will actually go inside the valve like that. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So this is my experience with this cutter is it doesn't, it gets right to the end. So it's mm -hmm. already done and it's not severing the pipe. And I'm not really sure why. Whoa. Cool. So we'll slide this nut on. Slide this compression ring on. Is this water like kind of dirty because it hasn't really been filtered through here? We've never been able to run it, right? Because the water coming through the faucet mm -hmm. is kind of bypassing this whole thing. So this water is going to be really filthy. There it is. Nice clean cut. Like a little tire. Yeah, it takes maybe about 10 turns or so before you're really close. So that's probably pretty close. Probably pop it off there. This is so scary. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Nice. Tighten the nut, not the valve. There you go. And the quarter turn needs to go up, or the stop needs to go up, yep. Yeah, 
Here goes nothing. Nice and slow. Going on slowly. Okay. There we go. On. Okay. Looking good. We're gonna go ahead and assemble the toilet as much as we can. We're missing the bolts to attach the toilet to the flange, I think is the correct terminology. We checked everything, all of our bags, all the boxes. It doesn't seem like it came with bolts of any sort and we don't have any here. So unfortunately that means a trip to the hardware store tomorrow because they're not open on Sundays. You're gonna have to guide it, I can't see. Okay. It. Yep, come down, come down, come down, hold on. Okay, down, down, down. Down, down, down. Did I put the did I put the gasket on right? This needs to go onto here. It's just not on there all the way. There we go. Mucho better. Okay, down, down, down. Yep, good. There we go. That's better. You should be able to just get it started. Or no. Yeah. Okay. How tight does that feel? That's feeling pretty good. Do you want to feel how tight this? Your man hands can get it stronger. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's more firm. More firm. So this, guys, if we didn't already mention, is a dual flush. It has a number one and a number two, right? And uh, it has a water level indicator down here that shows like 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. I think what it is is like this whole thing is kind of set up for water conservation. So you can set how much the tank actually fills up. Well, I guess all toilets are that way. You just bend the arm. Usually there's a little arm in there and you just bend it. But this system is different. It has some other mechanism for shutting off the water flow. Yeah, okay. So there's, there's a couple of different adjustments. Never had to read the instructions for yeah, a toilet before. Yeah, this is freaking before. confusing. This is not straightforward. When you get a jet flush toilet, you better read the instructions because if know, it right? jet flushes badly. Otherwise, there goes bugaboo. The toilet bolts. There's toilet bolts in the seal. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sweet, we're in luck. Dude, we're going to get this toilet working tonight. Okay. I had totally relegated us to tomorrow. <laughs> I've never been so excited to see toilet bolts in my hole. That's what's next is we need to knock out the knockout okay. for the poop hole. And then we'll set the toilet on the seal and then we'll bolt it in place. Okay. Once that's done, then we'll work on running the water that's line, done. which takes two seconds. Yep. So if you've been with us for a while, you know that we have radiant in this slab and we don't know what would happen if we put a wax toilet seal in there, but we've heard rumors that it will soften or melt. So we went looking for an alternative and we ran into these gaskets and I believe this is a foam silicone gasket it's it's foam on the inside and on the outside it's got a silicone covering of course it's not sensitive to the heat from the radiant this one is made by Santa seal it's a waxless wax gasket and it's pretty versatile this thing you can do stuff with that I don't think you could do with a wax gasket like you could stack them if you needed to like if the toilet was really high and all of this does is just seals the trap on the bottom of the toilet. If you've never taken a toilet out, this is what's underneath your toilet that maintains the seal between the toilet and the floor. Usually they use wax and as you push and wiggle the toilet down, the wax kind of deforms a little bit and kind of shapes to the toilet, or the floor, and kind of creates this gooey, disgusting, amazing seal. Anyway, let's give this a shot. So we just ate dinner mm -hmm. and this is gonna smell amazing. Mm. So these need to go under here, like oh, this. Oh, got you. And they slide in here. Right, so put the other one in before you slide it. And then turn. Down she goes. No, it doesn't fit the bestest. For inside three inch and offset flanges, fold horn on Santa seal in and install upside down. Ha ha ha! 
Nice. There we go. Okay. So install it like that. Cool. Roger, Dodger. Plastic first, yep. And then that. Yep. And then that. See how it holds the right. the bolt up? Okay. And then the cap just goes right. over everything. Okay. Are we leaking? Nope. So here's the thing. So that water is filling the trap. So that water doesn't go down, right? It doesn't go down until yeah. you flush. So that's just sealing up the trap so we don't have to smell the amazing aroma of Okay, I'm snug. Okay. Maybe go like half a turn. About there. Okay, half a turn. Half a turn. I'm getting pretty snug. How are half you? Uh, I don't feel very snug. Uh, it's getting pretty snug for a toilet. Yeah, let's turn the thing out there. So this little cap that hides the bolt, it doesn't fit. The bolt's too long. So basically we have to cut our bolt. Yeah, it's pretty common. I think you're supposed to just take a hacksaw to it. Let's see if it says on here. Two and seven eighths. I'm guessing that three dots is number one and nine dots is number two. Oh, is it Braille? Braille. <laughs> so if you're ever in a bathroom and the lights go out, right. push the nine dots. Blasted myself in the face. Nice. Fun. I don't think flushing works yet. Do we need electricity for that? <laughs> oh. Is that a dumb oh my gosh, guys! <laughs> I need help! Because I pressed the flusher, nothing happened. Right, because there's no water in the tank, you clown. Oh. <laughs> It's filling, it's filling, it's filling. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. There's no way we're flushing our toilet for the first time and these guys are not gonna be a part of the... Is it late? Yeah, it's like almost nine o'clock, but they'll be fine with it, trust me. There's, this is worth losing sleep over. Hey! Hey, how you doing? Not bad, how you guys doing? Good, you weren't sleeping, were you? Maybe, no. Well, you guys never sleep. I guess we don't need to sleep, right? Well, this is really important. Otherwise, I wouldn't call. You know that, right? Okay. What's up? Well, we're about to flush our toilet for the first time, and we figured you might want to be on the phone when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys actually going to attach my video to this? Yes, it is. You're going to be featured in this, yes. Now with Cyclonic Action, you're able to flush 40 golf balls in a single flush. Now with Thanksgiving capacity, no push needed. Side effects may include hickey butt, missing children, missing pets, and potentially an increased consumption of toilet paper. Oh, that's awesome. I'm terrified. All right, are you ready? This is number two. Oh, ow. Hold on, let's play a game. You tell me if you can figure out if this is one or two. Oh, I told you it needs electricity. Oh, no. It doesn't work. I think the buttons need to be adjusted. And yes, this toilet does come with an extensive manual. Okay, you tell me if you think this is number one or number two. Now, are we, are we talking a typical normal world one or two, or are we talking your world three or nine? A, th uh, a three or nine. Okay, three. That was a three. So it was a one. That was a one. Three is one. Yeah. like a super strong three. Okay. Let me just get prepared here. So if I don't hear any talking after you flush the niner, then I'm Send gonna, help. We have to look at it. We should probably conference call somebody in in case it doesn't go well. All right, we're going for nine. Here we go. That's not as siphonic jet like as I was thinking. This is like, oh man. That's like was, marketing. It is marketing. What the heck? That uh, won't result in hecky butt at all. We're gonna have to redo your commercial. <laughs> all right, we have to read the manual, we'll adjust it, and then we'll call you back. Okay, sounds good. Okay, bye. Well, the answer is yes, there's lots of adjustments, and no, we can't figure out how to do it without damaging the valve. So we do know that the settings are set for like maximum efficiency, and they say that if you basically depart at all from the factory settings, you're gonna be using a lot more water. And for now, I guess we'll take the water conservation. And 
We'll let her be. Ready to give her one test flush? Yeah, let's do a Tuesday. That's probably, that's probably all you're gonna get in like a, a residential toilet. Yeah. The ones we're thinking of, like. Like at the I, high school? Yeah, exactly. I feel like those are like commercial toilets, so. Probably. So we just bought like a really expensive normal toilet. I, I'm, I'm wondering. <laughs> all right, let's put the vanity in. So we just need to mark the stud so we know where we can screw the vanity. So four inches and 16 inches. And those are our centers. That should hit a stud perfectly. Wow. So if you've seen our other videos on this project, we originally had a larger vanity that extended probably what six more inches towards the toilet yeah. and it wasn't actually to code because from the edge of your vanity to the center of your toilet has to be 15 inches and we were like a quarter inch short yeah. and our the inspector uh we have apparently is very strict on that and more importantly we felt that it actually did kind of encroach on the toilet space yeah. so now there's plenty of room to put like a full-size trash can or whatever you know, but this actually looks more spatially balanced. It looks good. Balanced. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something for countertop space, like a shelf and the, yeah. and stuff, because this we'll is figure it out. Work, but I don't think it's that the counter in the RV is so small, it's that everything <laughs> is yep. cramped. Like you can't even turn. Yep. Um, like I'm literally like this brushing my teeth. So hopefully this will be a little bit a little bit more roomy. Beautiful. Nice. Let me know if you get any leaks. Okay. You're not screaming, that's a good sign. Right. Boy, that looks tight under there. Yeah, there's no filming under there. <laughs> that's pretty snug. It's cool. fitting good. Got the water line souped up. Nice, okay. Just gonna have a little tighten. Yep, looking good. Ready to test it? Yep. Okay. That's got a good flow. Why nice. can't our kitchen sink Yeah, that's flow exciting. That well? Wow. And it just disappears down that hole. I know, hole. right? You guys aren't gonna recognize us here in about a week. Good work. Let's count the victories. Floor, one, two, toilet, three, vanity, four sink that's four victories today we have one left the door bugaboo what's that he's probably gonna run some of you might not know bugaboo knows how to use the toilet he's body treat. he did it for like three years this means that this winter you can just be locked in the house forever more and well, you don't have to go well, outside anymore. We'll work on it guys, there's hope. Bugaboo did use the potty once since we've been here. So in the RV. He hasn't forgot how. Hey. Oh yeah, hey. he's slinking his oh, way up. Yes. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Good. Is that correct? Yep. Just put two in each. Wow. That's it guys. Pretty good day's work right there. Bye. Good job. Yeah, we killed it. We Let's actually achieved what we set out to achieve today. I think tomorrow, electrical. Heater, outlets, lights, and we've gotta get the fan wired in, but I don't think that we're gonna get the fan plumbed in. Then we need to get that done, that's a whole nother day, and get the valve installed, and get the shower door installed, and then holy smokes, like we're this close to moving in. 
I know you guys want to see Bugaboo again. Every night we've ha been having to kick him out of here because we know that he'll want to sleep in the RV with us. I bet he's on the office chair. Oh, where is he? Oh, now we gotta play find the bugger rat. You know, there's a chance he's outside. I actually think he is outside. Well, rat probably went to bed already without us. Bugaboo! 